What's up guys, I'm Mike. I'm not. And this is The Great Outside. Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you'll consider subscribing. Today we are doing another budget gear review. East Hills Outdoors Jungle Explorer. It comes in a full kit. It's all inclusive, has its own rain fly. We're gonna go over the entire thing in just a second. First, I have to give a shout out to East Hills Outdoors. They sent me this for free. Uh, I am not getting paid by them. This is just mine to have, to use, and to show to you. Uh, so it's gonna be an honest review. All my gear reviews are honest reviews and we're gonna do it right now. All right, let's kick this off. Uh, East Hills Outdoors Jungle Explorer comes in its own stuff sack. It actually has a strap so you can cinch it down real tight and it comes with its own suspension system. So we're gonna go ahead and get this hooked up right now. We'll go ahead and put this right here and get this party started. So as usual, just go through the farthest loop preferably you want to go more than once around a tree but i don't think that these straps will make it i could be wrong you go ahead and stick it about head height give it a little tug all right simply find one end there's one right there comes with a carabiner already attached with a rope suspension we'll just pick one Maybe right here. This particular hammock has a large bug net and it comes with shock cord. That they supply uh, it's actually quite a bit you have to feed it through the loops yourself and after that you're good to go uh, what I do is I've tied two loops to each side and I just attach it to this before I put it back in the stuff sack so you can get straightened out I'm just using a simple toggle on this side Go ahead and take care of the other side. Get the height adjusted where you want. And you're in business. <clears throat> a little windy today. We live in reality. That's what it looks like when you have it all set up. We're gonna take a look at the rain fly separately. Uh, that's got a whole different thing going on. And uh, I don't want people to think I'm actually camping here. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's take a look at this right now. Come on in. All right, and we're swinging. Kick the shoes off. No shoes in the hammock, not on my channel. Let's get in. This is a pretty wild hammock. It'll be best if I zip it up. Now, this is where I really really enjoy this hammock because it is just about a full length for me I'm under six feet and I can absolutely fully extend in here which is absolutely wild this thing is humongous inside and I mean that wholeheartedly. I still have room above my head. 
which is so very rare. I mean, this thing is El Gigante. It comes with two phone holders right here. Uh, they fit my phone perfect. If you've got something like a Galaxy Note, you're not gonna get it in there. I'm not even sure they make those anymore. Got one there, got one there. Now, the bug net, I really wasn't a fan of at first, but it really, really lets you have some room. I mean, this thing is huge, absolutely huge. It's got four, it has no ridge line. You can't add one. It's got four hooks, and those things are pretty cool. Now, this is where things get a little dicey. The actual construction is questionable. Now, the hammock itself is very steady, it's very sturdy, and it's humongous. I do really like it, but the sewing is just such a mess. I mean, it really is. And there's some really weird things going on here. I've gotten about eight uses out of this. Spent one single night in it, and the rest of the time I actually brought it here. Um, it's my daughter's official favorite hammock out of all mine. I brought her to this very spot last week when we had a day off and she fell asleep and slept for hours like a baby in this thing. Let me throw my bag in here and we'll take a look at the outside. That'll hold it steady. Okay, aside from my dog, I put everything I have in here so we can take a look at it. Now, these zippers are so questionable. I mean... You saw the sewing on the inside. The sewing on the zippers specifically is just a mess. But these zippers overlap. It's gonna be hard for me to do. Now these zippers overlap. And when you really got it in there, I'm not even sure why they do this. It, it's weird for me. Uh, one's white, one's black, goes all the way around and meets in the middle. This whole thing is supposed to be removable and I'm gonna do it for you, but it makes me a little nervous, to be quite honest. So, you can see right there, it likes to get stuck. All right, so let's go ahead and go over some of the features on this guy. It comes with its rib suspension inside of the bunched end of the hammock, comes with a carabiner already attached, and it goes right in to this daisy chain loop system, which is an industry standard on pretty much all of your budget hammocks. With the shot cord, it's not attached. It comes in a roll. You get a lot of feet. Uh, it's more than adequate for probably even an 18 foot expansion. Uh, this is about 16, something like that. And I have plenty of stretch to go. You've got entryways on both sides. The stuff sack is attached. Now, I'm not gonna use the guy lines. Um, I have my own ridge line that I use every time I put up a tarp. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. steel stake comes with the kit pull this out and in you go Bam. all right well let's go ahead and talk about this rain fly this is a pretty weird rain fly for me personally it's a 10 by 10 and the corners are like this they just the actual outer material comes and makes a loop they cut the loop off it's not really very square but that's kind of a thing here i'd say that's more of a theme actually um on every other side you have a loop like this and then on every other side you've got 
a side loop like this. Um, all of them are reinforced. They're not like triple stitched or anything like that. The inside is almost foiled. It's highly reflective, which I did not expect. Now let's take a look at this center seam. Let's see if it's sealed very well. Now you can see, hopefully you can see the line right here. And that's what you're looking for. You want to make sure that the lines are both on the outside because with really cheap stuff, a lot of times when they heat seal these, it's kind of like a shrink wrap and you put it on and then iron it basically. And if it's not clearly on both sides, it won't hold water. It will leak because it's not actually sealing the seam. And this one, believe it or not, seems to be sealed actually better than some of the ones that I have reviewed in the past. All right. See how much extra that is? I can see why they came up with a new design, but it's so drastically different that it's not the same hammock at all. Okay, so I have to go back around. That's crazy. All right. This is really a mess. What a tangled web we weave. We'll do that and then we'll try it out. This is my first time removing it. And if I get it back on, it'll be the last time. All right, let's find out. Do I have enough patience and or am smart enough to put this thing back on? Back in business. Okay, so the entire kit, <laughs> the entire kit is 60 ounces. Yeah, that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I really do feel like the bunch dens and the extra weird zippers uh, added a lot of unnecessary weight to the design. Um, so it says that the tarp itself is 24 ounces and it also says that the uh, the hammock is 36 for a total of 60, which is pretty insane for a hammock setup uh, for backpacking. Honestly, it's very heavy. That's you know you're getting towards four pounds, and that's there's there's um, tents that are lighter than that. So with that being said, let's make some suggestions here. All right. So in my opinion, this. Is what it's good for it's good for spending time with family and hanging out isn't that right hi better ah, scoot over butthead okay. this is its purpose hanging out with the family at the park maybe keep it in your rv or your car 
I wouldn't backpack with it, but you definitely can. It's good for camping as long as you're not going backpacking for long distances. Uh, short distances, probably just fine, and you can do it anyways if you want. It's just really heavy. It fits too good. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> I would also rate it a 10 out of 10. Why? Obviously because it's comfortable. I slept in it once. There you have it. East Hills Outdoors Jungle Explorer full review. Thank you to them for sending it to me. Uh, I am going to be getting use out of it. As you can tell, we actually like it. Um, like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Hope you enjoyed. You have a great day. Go outside. It's great. See ya.